Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. And what's your name? My name is Lawrence. Lawrence, what did you do last weekend? I played tennis um, because I really enjoy tennis and it's a great stress reliever and I look at it as a wonderful act of self-care. Beautiful. Go into your reading. Yes. It's 2 a.m. and you're starving. You don't have nothing in a fridge. I mean, you have nothing in a fridge, nothing in your cupboards. You think about cooking, but then you remember the three alarm fire that you started last time you tried using the stove. Okay, pause. Beautiful at the beginning. Okay. okay. Because regardless of, I'm not talking about the commercial, okay? Two different parts of him introducing himself. Regardless of what, came here with a big smile. You know, I wanted to say something to him, but I couldn't. You know, how can, what, what can I say? But I asked him, what did he do last weekend? Maybe could have went into a little bit more details of the tennis, but at the end of the day, what I took away from that is he seems comfortable, seems confident in himself, and he seems like a likable individual. Is he a likable individual? I do not know. Nor does any ad agency who gets the tape from a casting director. And then when they come in for the callback, they don't meet the actor, they're off to the side, then they see the actor perform again, and then they decide who they're gonna pick, okay? But right away, if you take what he did, hands out your pocket, and not behind your back. Not <laughs> <in your mouth>. <laughs> <laughs> so you did the, the three moves, okay. So, just, so, ne so none of this. So, and you guys will notice this now. If you watch athletes or just any guys and they're taking a the picture, you're gonna notice guys do this, okay? Um, this is another one. All this stuff is, is just our way of trying to comfort ourselves. We really just are going like this to ourselves. It is what it is. And you have to get yourself to a point where you do not care about other people's opinions regarding yourself and you have to be open, you have to be focused to the task at hand, and it's not to hide anything. You wanna be open. So th these are just habits though. We do this, and he's doing it right now while he's sitting down. It's a habit. So of course, I don't expect you guys in one day to just stop doing it, but I have to call you on it because those are one of the things that they're looking for. Body language is very important. So no hands in our pockets. Okay. The sides. He was somewhat gutsy because, you know, if you do not know for a hundred percent that you are off book and you're in a cold read situation, have your sides. Your sides can become an extension of your hand, right? But what you don't want to do is this and move your paper around and distracting. But this could simply be anything that I would do with my right hand, I could do with my left hand, and the sides are here just in case I forgot something. It's not gonna take away. If you're completely off book and you're just ready to just slam dunk, hit a home run, then yeah, do whatever you please. All right, so this is important, okay? If we don't have the information, we have to find the clues. So the first clue is this. So it's two o'clock in the morning and you're starving. This commercial, the person is actually creeping into the kitchen because it's two o'clock in the morning and they're getting the attention of somebody. So right away, two o'clock, becomes very important because there's other people, okay? Now let's say, okay, you missed the mark. The casting director can always say, hey, you can't start the thing off by yelling because there's people asleep right in the living room. So 
Nothing in the fridge. Nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dog biscuits in. These are different items. So how you're presenting it is one note, right? So if you're going to present something, at least have a range, have specific <coughs> items. Not everything means the exact same thing, because otherwise you have nowhere to go, okay? But we're going to give you something. So you somewhat know the lines, right? Yes. All right. So I want you two openings. One, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. So something where you're tired and you're going to show us that it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay. Okay. Ready? Okay. Action. Okay. Right away, was the intro way more entertaining than when he first got up there? Just by using one clue in the first sentence of it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Okay, now, back up a little, like you're going out. Okay, now you're coming into a kitchen, but uh, your mom is asleep there, and you got to make it into the kitchen. Okay, back up a little bit more. Now, real quick, go back. So, your smile is great when you're introducing yourself. Now, once we're going into character, let's think of your character scenario. Now, if he's just, I mean, he might be high, but it is a scenario. But let's, you know, okay. serious time right <laughs> so, yeah, one more time. Okay. Get here first okay. before saying anything. Okay. 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 Don't open anything. Okay. Just your first action is not waking your mom. Okay. You're not going to go like this because that would mean that you're doing it for someone. Someone's watching you. Okay. okay. No one's watching you. Face camera. So it's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. And you're starving. And I'm starving. Nothing. Oh, where's the fridge? In front of me. Where's the uh, cabinets? Okay. Right. Where's the stove? Right. Okay. Just don't put it to the side okay. because you always want to be able to cheat on camera. So you can put it diagonal. Okay, so I could say the fridge right. is here. Yes. Okay. So it's not even that he necessarily has to open the fridge. Good. But even just knowing the nothing in the fridge, nothing, it's giving us eye lines to these items, making it look 3D. Okay? Make sense? Yes. So let's put fridge here, cover ups here, okay. lift down. There's no dog biscuits. Okay. So just to be clear, right? So fridge here, cover, cupboards here, and then where's the stove? Stove will be down. Okay. Dog biscuits are down here. Okay. So straight from there's nothing in the fridge. Nothing in the fridge. So maybe plant yourself. So let's say you're coming, you're coming in, you're coming in, now you're sitting, right? Okay. in the fridge, and look at the fridge, see okay. the fridge. Okay. Action. Nothing in the fridge, nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. Okay, so now the only thing is it's not believable, okay? So now, lose the voice, okay? Because this is stuff that... You can, if you have rehearsal time, you can go through all that, okay? okay. There's nothing in the fridge, nothing in the cupboards. Okay. See that there's no dog, you don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. Like the dog biscuits have to mean something. Okay. 
if the dog biscuits don't mean anything, what's the point? What's the point of this commercial? Why would the writer put it? It has to mean something. So if they don't have dog biscuits, what does that mean? That means that there's nothing for anyone to do. These people are heathens. Not only are they going to kill themselves, they're going to kill the dog. Do you want that to happen? None of us do. No, they just not have any snacks either, you know, so. <laughs> so, at this point, <laughs> it should mean something. Remember the note that I told you how you were just being one beat? Mm -hmm. That's why when you're reading the story, you're seeing what all this means. There's, you don't even have dog, see, it's in the words. You don't even have dog biscuits. You think about cooking, but then you remember the. This is very important. So, hand from behind okay. you. Now, here we go with the resolution. Well, check out 7 Eleven. There's got to be one right near you. So, you see where now they're switching the beat? Yes. This intense moment, intense! And the three alarm fire is it's like super intense. We're not going to get into that right now. But then, after it, the smoke clears. Well, check out 7-Eleven. Now, remember how you said you were getting paid by 7-Eleven to show that smile? This is the time to show it. Okay. Well, check out 7-Eleven. Action. Well, check out 7-Eleven. There should be one right near you. 7-Eleven. They have everything from hamburgers to tacos 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, the last thing I'm going to give you. Focus. Well, check out 7-Eleven. There's got, you see, his hands, same position, same thing, same, no. They got burgers, tacos. There's different things that you can do besides the same, no. Okay. So for you, you have to find variety okay. in the beats in your stuff, which we're gonna work on. Good job. Thank you. <laughs>